We place the brake pass of this accord. Hey, sorry, the CRV under CRV. The customer brought it in for brake pad replacement. It's a Canada model, so choose Canada. And 2018. For all this 2018 ones, if you're about to replace the brake pad and you don't you don't send you don't activate the servicing mode you might end up breaking the EPB, which is elect uh, electronic brake booster. You may end up damaging it. So for this one, first, what I'll do is I'll check if there is no fault code in the system. Then from there, I start to replace the brake pad. So now the car has been serviced already. So I'm about to take off the front tires and change the brake pad. But for now, I have to send it into the brake activation mode first, the brake servicing mode first before I can do anything on it. So you can see electronic brake booster because I've had an experience with it before. I was called to diagnose one vehicle which they were trying to change the rear brake pad and they didn't send it into service mode and they forced and pushed the piston back and after that the brake booster wasn't working anymore and the brake pad the brakes were very hard when you are when you start the vehicle they are very hard so such issues can damage your brake your electronic brake booster so with this one after checking the issue I'll, I'll replace all the brake parts but for now I have to deactivate I have to send it into service mode and start changing the brake parts so So we check the fault code in the system, electronic parking braking, fluid brake fluid leaking, suit fail. So, so they say the fault code in it, confirm, confirm. So what I'll do now is I'll save the fault code for the client so that after so that after the servicing if there is any other issue. data okay so now i've saved it so i'll go back tarakan i'll go back and go into uh, abs module mm. abs module So you can see ABS module brake pad maintenance mode. So I have to activate the brake pad maintenance mode. So these are the instructions. The function is used in the rear brake pad maintenance. And okay. Enter brake pad maintenance mode. So press OK. Then now the vehicle is in brake pad maintenance mode. OK. So you can hear the brake pass went into the servicing mode. So now when I'm done with the repair of the brake pass servicing mode, then I will 
So I'm doing both front and rear brake pads. I'm doing both front and rear brake pads. Then after that, I'll reset the maintenance. Ones. So I'll start with the front ones, then I'll move to the rear ones. Also. These are the brakes, brake pads that we'll be using. So I've taken off the 14 bolts already. So what I'll do now is I'll take off the brake pads. Mm. Compare if it's the same thing as this. So that that's the same brake pad. So the one with this thing will go back like the one where the sensor will go back and one will come front so this one will be at the front so they give us also the clips in the box these clips which are here this ones so they give us one that will be Brake pass has been changed successfully. So, what I'll do is I'll, I'll move to the rear brake part so you can see the new parts. In. So, we'll take off the rear brake. Yeah, then this is the rear brake part. So, we'll take it off and fix the new brake part. In take it off and fix the new brake part. You can see because it's in maintenance mode, so you just push the piston and it goes in. And you lock everything back. It's 12 foot, so you lock them back. Then you are done. So after replacing the brake, go back to brake part, then back to normal mode. Then, because I did both rear and front, so press OK. Then you can hear them moving. So now, big part was moved to the original position. Procedure finished. Then press OK. Then escape. Turn off the. So now, raise all the fourth code from the system. And reset the maintenance mode then start the vehicle because I'm done servicing it so now I can start the vehicle so now I'll escape and go to hot function so that I can do the servicing require I will reset sorry with two Okay, reset complete. And now it's hundred percent. Escape. Escape. And turn off the ignition. Now the service light is not showing anymore. The service DV is not showing anymore. Thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel for more videos.